guys, it is almost midnight here at Brick World Chicago. Day one here on the Wednesday evening. We have a whole live stream set up. You can see that's where a lot of folks are and just having a good old blast of a time. Like I said, things are settling down, so I figured I'd do a quick walk around a little bit and probably take a look at some of the beautiful Lego creations and just kind of what Brick World has to offer. Um, obviously, everything is not set up. You can kind of see it behind me as we're walking. One of the cool things about coming probably early to Brick World, and if you ever have the opportunity or thinking about it, getting here early is an opportunity to see basically an empty canvas. Kind of feels like my Lego basement. Just an empty canvas. Like I'm just walking by, I'm like, oh my gosh, this mock is amazing. But and when I mean an empty camp, uh, canvas, I mean like nothing is on the tables, right? And then while, while you're walking around, while the day progresses, people are bringing in Lego, people are adding to their collection, adding to their mocks. And it's just cool to see the entire exhibit like come to life. Like for example, let me go ahead and turn this around. This table behind me is wide open, blank slate, no mock on it. And probably tomorrow they're probably arriving and gonna be adding their Lego collection to it and just making it <laughs> absolutely crazy. So that is one of the cool things I personally like about coming early to Brick World Chicago. And on the opposite side, it's very quiet. Like, you know, it's 11.30, almost going on midnight, and it's a very calm and quiet in here. And throughout the public days, you really just do not get that. And to have a background scene at Brickwell Chicago where it's a little bit more private, a chance to like really meet and talk to people and just kind of see mocks and ask people about mocks or see what's for sale, it's just a great opportunity. And how's the game going? It hasn't changed, <laughs> no updates. We were up by 20 and now we're not. We thought it was funny, it's not funny anymore. <laughs> Nothing like some pre-Brick World grub celebrating somebody's birthday. Happy birthday, OG. <laughs> I blew it out. I used the flash. Got me thirty some dollars. Oh, you are Yo, <laughs> dude. Yo, also the, the exam. The, that's just the illustration rare, but that's a secret illustration rare. And then a full art bro. Regular EX. Words. One box. Two packs. I still have four. Brick World. Brick World pulls. Bro, this is. Let's see this one. Let's see this one. He hasn't pulled any. Let's see all those packs. Did you? Brick World pulls, bro. There's another. There's another heater in here. This is. Okay, we had to calm down. We had to we calm down. Okay. We had to calm down. It's, it's natural. It's natural. We had to calm down. We can't, we can't always be on the ride. That already is gross. Give me the problem. Any wildness over here? Yeah. Articuna. That Articuna is beautiful. That is gorgeous. What's crazy is I still like the hollow rares. Dude, those, I mean, even though they're common, some of them are so dope. I don't like the silver borders though, I'm not gonna lie to you. I, 151 at least. You can pick one of the mini figs in Ooh. this bag. Yeah. Let's go, Micah. Yeah, those ones are just not quite the right quality for me to sell. Okay. These ones I'm selling. Yeah. If you want these, go to my website. <laughs> so guys, we're here at Brick World Chicago. Got some awesome people we're keeping me. There's t there's Mike and Ike. There's Brick Zoner, uh, Lego Zoner. We got Ryan and Tyler streaming. Tyler's back. Yeah, Tyler's back. That's nuts. See you guys day two. Here's another cool thing I like about Brickwood Chicago coming early. You get you get the first sight at looking at what's for sale. Oh my gosh, I could shop here all day because it's not every day you get to see like retired Lego sets in just like minty pristine boxes. I'm gonna go ahead and flip the camera around and show you a little bit about like one of the ones like there's here's a retail store. It's it's a block party. I think they're out of Indianapolis. Um, I've actually met that owner a few times here. He always has a stands at Brick World Chicago and honestly, I mean the prices are a little bit inflated and to be fair, it it's as expected, right? Like I was saying, you can't just go somewhere and find retired Lego like for the most part. And here you can. Anyways, let's shut up and let's turn around and look at some of the retired Lego that's up for sale. Like in this exhibit, check that out. That is a green grocer minty sealed in box. And even next to it is probably my favorite modular of all time. That is the Lego Town Hall. Like I said, it carries a price tag of $1,200, which is a hefty price point. Or look at that one. That's Cloud City. That is Cloud City right there. $1,050. And it is used but verified. Wow. Some Ninjago sets. They have the Ghostbusters HQ up there. I don't know how much that one is. I wonder if I can. If I can see it. I don't know. My vision's 
slightly going at midnight. I think it's 900. Oh my gosh. But that's just a set you basically like never, ever, ever I was see. walking around the corner and check this one out. The Lego Movie 2, Welcome to Apocalypseburg. I feel like this is one of the sets like top wanted for me. I don't know why. I just, it's just incredible. Sealed in the box, $900. That's a hefty price point, but my gosh, is that an amazing set. And it, we have some customs from like Brick Tactical. We have another store called Brick University. This one's pretty cool too, because I, I see one I like, the first items I saw was this one right here. The $250 Yoda lightsaber. Oh my God, that was an exclusive for buying the Maz Eisley Cantina back in 2020 at its release. And it sold out very fast when Lego sets were flying off the shelf. On top of that, I decided this year to bring my own Lego mock to this convention. I've never brought a mock. And to be safe to say, I don't think I've ever finished a mock while building. So I'm gonna actually show you mine really quick and uh, it's not complete yet. I will finish it by the time the days go public, but uh, let's take a look. So here it is. I did watch Rebels not too long ago for the first time and I absolutely enjoyed it. So I decided to bring and display a small Lothal highway creator stud city that feels good uh i am missing some minifigs that are in my car new in box that i'm going to build and place onto this and i probably add a couple more pieces to elevate some of the speeders but this is my mock it's not anything crazy like i said first time ever displaying something at brick world and i'm pretty happy with how it came out especially the point that uh, i've done in previous videos of just showing the challenges of working on a lego creation while building your entire basement so that was pretty cool right check it out there's no one here i mean that's awesome you get to really appreciate some of the lego but anyways i'm gonna continue on i'm gonna continue looking at some lego and i'm gonna go meet some awesome people in this community and probably grab some good food because we are in chicago so there's a lot of good food going around anyways guys i hope you enjoyed our day one vlog of brick world chicago if you want to see more vlogs and let me know what you want to see in the comments below whether it's lego mocks meeting people um, you know, what we're doing outside of the brick convention, it's kind of crazy and chaotic and hectic. Uh, I feel like one of the other things I should mention is not having a plan is a plan. And I wish I stayed true to that because I do have an, a, not a packed agenda, but there's some pretty hefty items on my agenda that I just can't get out of. And, and I don't mean that in a bad way. I don't mean that in a negative way. There's some events that like I have to go to and it's like, you know, maybe this meeting wouldn't have been the best time during Brick World Chicago, but we're still gonna do it, right? So maybe if I could stay true to that by not having a plan is the best plan, that would probably be one of my other advices. And I've seen a lot of other creators do that while here at Brick World Chicago. They're like, I'm here to just enjoy my time. And I kind of wish <laughs> that was a little bit my case, but regardless, that's some of the challenges of doing an event like but I'm this. also going to try and release this video before the public days so if you are going to Brick World Chicago drop a comment as well let me know I will be hosting a meet and greet on Saturday uh, so on Saturday we'll do a meet and greet from 3 to 4 p.m central standard time we will have a whole designated spot here at Brick World Chicago and it will be a nice little panel I hope to see you guys here don't be afraid to say hi on Saturday or Sunday especially during the public days take a picture, sign any, whatever it may be. I'm all for it. I really want to meet you guys. I'm looking forward to it. And as always, thanks so much for watching. Happy Brick World Chicago. We will see you in the next one. Love you guys. Christo, out.